Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. Digital modes with the uh, QRP Minion SDR. You noticed uh, during my uh, two first videos that I had some uh, problems with the uh, JS8 core program, and namely uh, the uh, PTT command, you know, the cat control uh, to control the radio and trigger transmit. Now, the problem, good news, is that it isn't coming from the radio. It's coming from the Hamlib library. And I went to the uh, QRPver website and uh, found instructions on how to bypass Hamlib. So I tried first with uh, FLDG and was able to bypass it and uh, it worked perfectly fine. I did have to download a file from Kenwood with the uh, um, TS440 instructions in it. So I'll put the link down below and I'll put the link to the uh, QRPver uh, document as well. The Minion SDR works absolutely great in single sideband, LSB and USB. Also, provided that you are careful uh, in getting rid of uh, stray RF currents using a choke, it works fine in CW for Morse code as well. Now, it also seems like uh, I can use it just fine for digital modes. So here is FLDG. I'll show you the uh, configuration I use and uh, this is uh, okay rig control cat and this here is the file that I'm using that I had to download from Kenwood you can see all the other information pause the video if you need to also actually I am using Hamlib but I believe it is a uh, different version because of course the uh, version that's in uh, JS8 code does not work. This one does. All the information here. Of course you would have a different device on your computer but everything else should be uh, identical. You can see all the conversations here on the left. Uh, the mode is uh, PSK31 and we'll try to make a contact. Ah, here's one. That is a long CQ. <laughs> Ah, uh, F4WBY, I think you heard me, 599, okay. Here we go, one contact, PSK31, works just fine. Now for JS8 call, uh, you can actually bypass Hamlib by using something called FL Rig. Now unfortunately I couldn't get uh, FL Rig to work on my uh, Mac Mini, but uh, it's a problem with the uh, USB uh, to uh, serial port uh, driver. So I didn't quite, uh, you know, I didn't pursue that uh, anymore, but I actually uh, tried on Windows. So here's uh, FL Rig, and uh, you can see it has a very uh, small software. I'll show you the uh, configuration as well. Transceiver. There is no TS440, so I chose uh, TS450S. Com3, uh, baud rate and all the other information here and uh, actually if I uh, change the frequency you see that it changes on the radio as well so it does work I'm going to minimize that and I'll start JS8 now 
Uh, here it is. Now on GS8, uh, I will not use uh, Hamlib. I will go and set up. Well, as the radio, I will set up FR rig. Actually, here you see. Uh, yeah, there is of course a problem with the uh, configuration. So I'll go to radio. And instead of uh, choosing a real radio, I'll choose FR rig. Here it is, FL rig, okay, uh, what else, uh, cat, yes, uh, okay, everything is fine here, I don't think there are anything for the uh, cat control, because of course it's FL rig, so it's all set up, I'll click on OK, and let's see if we get anything here, I want to go of course to the correct frequency, oops, what is that, uh, okay, Twenty meters. Here we go. So now we are on the uh, frequency, and of course uh, you saw here that uh, the uh, JS8 core program has set up the correct frequency using FL rig. Now, someone's in trouble. Enable heartbeat. Now I can send a heartbeat, and we'll see if it works. Yep, woohoo, it does transmit up to 5 watts, I'm adjusting the level, okay, and I'm up and running uh, with a GS8 core and a Minion SDR, and it stopped transmitting, so everything is working great, guys, awesome, really happy about this, now let's try to make a contact, actually the stations that uh, receive me are those who have a little star next to uh, their call sign here. Okay, another heartbeat. I know we're supposed not to abuse those and not do it too often. Ah, minus 11, acknowledged. OH6ELF. Where is he? Right here. Go to his frequency. Um, Let's see if he gets me, if I get a reply. Ah, here, here it goes, uh, giving me his name. GS8 is a bit slow, but uh, it's very uh, weak signal um, capable, so... Tony, okay. Sending him my uh, name and uh, location.
So you can see here, a GS8 call works perfectly fine, not using Hamlib, but uh, going through uh, FL rig on Windows. <laughs> now I have to figure out how to do it on my uh, Mac Mini. I'll show you my station here before I put it away. Uh, so I had the uh, Minion SDR, of course, battery power, the T1 from Elecraft, and my uh, laptop, and the antenna here with the wire dangling down on the side of the building. Everything works, everything works. Uh, single sideband, CW, digital modes, <laughs> and I'm very happy about it. Uh, I was worried at first, but uh, I figured things out, and maybe I should have uh, you know, waited a bit before uh, publishing the, uh, the first video. But uh, I guess I, uh, I was under pressure. <laughs> Everybody was asking me, hey, you know, when are you uh, testing the, uh, the Minion SDR? And we want to see the video. And, uh, yeah, I, I got a lot of messages uh, asking me to do this. So, uh, but finally, all the uh, glitches were uh, ironed out, and uh, well, that's it. You have it, and now it's really, uh, it really appears to be a, a great radio, and uh, it's really worth it. Uh, I guess uh, if you had any reservations, uh, I guess that's it. Now, it probably will be one of the radios I use the most, no doubt. And I guess I know what I'm going to be doing tonight. Uh, I'll probably try uh, 40 meters and see if I can uh, make some uh, contact on uh, JS8. Ah, it's 8. Yeah, 8 p.m. <laughs> Everyone is uh, clapping and uh, just to thank the, uh, the people who work in the hospitals. And uh, yeah, people are coming to their balconies. <laughs> yeah, and that's going to last uh, five, ten minutes. Great way to end the video. Have a good one.